hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys an amazing leave-in spray that you can use to grow your hair and your edges using only three ingredients if you're new to my channel hi welcome in this channel i do diy videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so if you're interested to see how i made this hair growth spray i would suggest you should watch this video to the end so you don't miss any useful information if you're interested you know what to do Grab a seat and let's get into it. So the first ingredient I'm going to be using to make this hair growth spray is mint leaves. Just in case you guys are wondering, I purchased all my ingredients from my local store. So you can purchase all the ingredients I'm using in today's video from your local store. So I started off by rinsing off the mint leaves, then I went ahead and transferred it to the pot. So mint leaves helps to stimulate hair growth, it controls hair form, it treats scalp issues such as dandruffs and alopecia. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is rosemary leaves. So make sure to rinse off your rosemary leaves before using it. So I went ahead and rinsed off my rosemary leaves, then I transferred it to the pot. Rosemary helps to regrow your hair back, it increases hair volume, it's amazing at controlling hair fall, and it adds shine to your hair as well. Our final ingredient for today's hair growth spray is lemongrass. Lemongrass is also known to strengthen your hair follicles, which helps to fight against hair loss. Lemongrass is a rich source of iron, and you guys know the importance of iron, especially if you're trying to grow your hair. Iron plays a major role in hair growth. It's amazing for dandruffs, it reduces itchy scalp, and it helps to boost hair growth as well. I went ahead and add about three cups of water, then I transferred the pot to the cooker. I'm going to allow it to boil on a low heat for about 25 minutes. So guys, if you guys are still watching this video to this point and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. And also if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. After 25 minutes, this is how the hair growth spray looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and strain it out. Once I'm done straining, this is how it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of olive oil. So this part is optional, okay? You don't have to do this. It all depends on preference. You can skip this part if you want. So remember that oil and water do not mix. So make sure you mix the mixture very well before using it. Now I just went ahead and transferred the hair growth spray to my spray bottle for easy application. The smell of this hair growth spray is amazing because of the mint leaves and the rosemary we added earlier on. So I'm going to be showing you guys two ways in which you can use this hair growth spray in this video. So this is how it looks and your hair growth spray is ready to be used. Now I'm going to show you guys how to apply this hair growth spray to your hair. So the first ways in which you can use this hair growth spray is on your edges. So I started off by applying some of the hair growth spray to the edges. Then I went ahead and massaged it in. Scalp massage is very important if you're trying to grow your hair as it helps to promote hair growth and healthy hair. I usually massage the scalp for about three to five minutes. This hair growth spray is very effective and very powerful when it comes to hair fall and hair loss because of the three ingredients we added earlier on. According to research, those three ingredients will help you to grow your hair in those stubborn areas, those areas that refuse to grow. If you're trying to grow your edges, I would suggest try this hair growth spray and thank me later. 
Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my hair fertilizer to the edges. So this hair fertilizer is basically a mixture of the hair fertilizer, my hair growth oil and castor oil mixed together. I went ahead and apply it to the entire edges, then I massage it in for a few minutes. So you can apply this hair fertilizer every other night if you're trying to grow your edges. The second ways in which you can use this hair growth spray is when you have a protective style. You can also use this hair growth spray if you want to moisturize your hair. So I started off by applying the hair growth spray to the entire hair and scalp. So you can apply this hair growth spray when you have box braid, twist, locks, or maybe if you're trying to re-moisturize your hair. So I know some of you guys are going to ask me if you can use this hair growth spray if you have a protective style. So the answer is yes, you can definitely use this hair growth spray if you have a protective style as well. So this is a leave-in spray. Do not wash it out, okay? You can use it as a leave-in conditioner spray. So basically, leave it until you're washed it, okay? So do not wash it out. You can apply this hair growth spray twice a week. It's going to help you to grow your hair back, especially in those stubborn areas, and it's going to help you to get rid of dandruffs or any scalp issues that you may be experiencing. Once I'm done applying the hair growth spray, I went ahead and applied my DIY hair bottle to seal in moisture to the hair. So this is my Moringa, Rosemary and Cloves hair butter. If you're interested on how I make my hair butter, you can check out my channel. I have different hair butter on my channel. Pick whatever you think your hair may love and make yourself one. So make sure to always seal in moisture whenever you apply hair butter to your hair. Otherwise, you're going to experience hair dryness, okay? If you don't apply your favorite leave-in conditioner, your hair is going to dry. So always make sure to seal in moisture by adding your hair butter or your leave-in conditioner. I also apply some of the moisturizer to the ends as well because our ends are the oldest part and they are prone to breakage and split end. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment in the comment section if you have any question for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys. Bye.